Okay, we're in a building on stilts, so it means we have to walk softly. And it's a good principle in general. Walk softly. I try to go through life with as little harm as possible. And you ask yourself, why would we want to cause harm to begin with? It's usually because we're hungry or we feel weak and threatened. Either way, we don't have enough strength. Real strength is in harmlessness, because you're doing things that are not going to create any bad situations for anyone. And it's protection for yourself. Where does the strength come? It comes from within. We have the strength of conviction that our actions really do make a difference, so we have to be very careful about how we act. And then there's a the strength of persistence. You simply stick with that, stick with that, stick with that again and again and again. No harm, no harm. Do things, only things that are beneficial. That, of course, requires that you be mindful. This, too, is a strength. Otherwise, we learn lessons in life, and if we forget them, it's as if we never learned them at all. So many of our lessons come from our mistakes. And if we forget the lesson, that means it's a mistake wasted. And we'll have to make a mistake again. So to prevent future mistakes, we try to remember from the ones we've already committed. That helps strengthen the mind, and it's a determination not to be harmful. And so when you develop these three qualities, that concentration and discernment then become strong as well. So think of gentleness as strength, harmlessness as strength. Otherwise we go through life getting little bits and pieces of happiness, and then they go away. And what do we have left? Well, we just have the karma of the unskillful things we did. But a happiness at last requires that you act in skillful ways, and so that way you, d you develop two benefits. One is that your happiness is more lasting, and then two, there's no bad karma associated with it. So have some, con some conviction that your actions really do make a difference, that you have the power right now to determine whether you're going to suffer from this present moment or not. It's not the case that we're totally on the receiving end from past karma. We're shaping things with our actions right now. So develop the strengths of mind, strengths of mind that will enable you to do what's right, do what's harmless. And that way, as you look back on your path through the world, you don't see that you've shaken anything up in any harmful way at all. And that's a good thing to look back on.